I need the verse. Uh, Since I don't have the Bhagavatam yet memorized, I'm getting there. I will need <laughs> Srimad Bhagavatam. Canto 9, Chapter 10, Text 15. 15. Pastimes of Lord Ramachandra. So we don't have the verse up, so I will just chant it. Kamam payari jahi vishra vaso vane cham vane ham vame ham jai lokyuravan namava avapnu hi virapantim vane hi setam yate nishasho vitai jai kayanti vig vijai should we do the word meanings or too confusing? Too confusing. <laughs> okay. Translation. My Lord. My Lord. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. My Lord, you may use my water as you like. This is the ocean, right? Because he called the ocean and the ocean didn't come until the Lord became angry. You may cross it and go to the abode of Ravana, who is the great source of disturbance and crying for the three worlds. He is the son of Vishnu of Vishrava, but is condemned like urine. Please go kill him, and thus regain your wife, Sita Devi, O great hero. Although my water presents no impediment to your going to Lanka, please construct a bridge over it to spread your transcendental fame. Upon seeing this wonderfully uncommon deed, of your Lordship, all the great heroes and kings in the future will glorify you. Uh, mój Panie, uh, wedle, twoje, wedle swojego pragnienia możesz wykorzystać się moje wody. Zapewne możesz przekroczyć je i udać się do siedziby Rawany, która jest potężną przyczyną zakłóceń płaczu w trzech światach. Jest on si synem z Wiśrawy, lecz jest potępiony niczym Urena. Proszę zabij go i odzyskaj w ten sposób swoją żonę, Sita Devi. O wielki bohaterze, chociaż moja woda nie jest dla Ciebie przeszkodą przy dostawaniu się do Sri Lanki, zbuduj proszę na niej most, aby rozszerzyć swoją transcendentalną sławę. Za ten, za ten zdumiewająco niezwykły czyn Waszej wysokości, w przyszłości, waszą wysokość, waszej wysokości, w przyszłości będą sławić Cię wszyscy potężni bohaterowie i królowie. Purport. It is said that his sun and urine emanate from the same source, the genitals. Jest powiedziane, że syn i urina pochodzą z tego samego źródła, z genitaliów. When a son is a devotee or a great learned person, the seminal discharge for begetting a son is successful. But if the son is unqualified and brings no glory to his family, he is no better than urine. Ale gdy syn nie ma kwalifikacji i nie przestarza swojej rodzinie chwały, nie jest lepszy niż urynę. Here Ravana is compared to urine because he was a cause of disturbance to the three worlds. Ravana został tutaj porównany do uryny, ponieważ był przyczyną zakłóceń w trzech światach. Thus the ocean personified wanted him killed by Lord Ramachandra. 
Dlatego uosobiony ocean pragnął, aby Pan Rama zabił Ravana. One feature of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Ramachandra, is omnipotence. Jedną z cech najwyższej osoby Boga, Pana Ramachandry, jest wszechmoc. The Lord can act without regard to material impediments or inconveniences. Pan może działać, nie zważając na materialne przeszkody czy kłopoty. But to prove that He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and was not merely advertised as Godhead or elected by popular vote, he constructed a wonderful bridge over the ocean. Ale aby dowieść, że jest najwyższą osobą Boga, a nie, że został po prostu uznany Bogiem czy wybrany w powszechnym głosowaniu, zbudował zdumiewający most na oceanie. Prabhupada's uh, being a little sarcastic. <laughs> After all, it's a democracy. So we'll have uh, coming up elections to see who's God this year. No, that's good. It has to be tight. Right um, yeah. Who will, who will be voted in as God this year? Nowadays, it has become fashionable to create some artificial God who performs no uncommon activities. Modą stało się stwarzanie jakiegoś sztucznego Boga, który nie dokonuje niezwykłych czynów. A little magic will bewilder a foolish person into selecting an artificial God because he does not understand how powerful God is. Odrobina magii oszołomi osobę nierozsądną, także nie znając mocy Boga, wybierze sztucznego Boga. Lord Ramachandra, however, constructed a bridge over the water with stone by making the stone float. This is proof of God's uncommonly wonderful power. Why should someone be accepted as God without displaying extraordinary potency by doing something never to be done by any common man? We accept Lord Ramachandra as the Supreme Personality of Godhead because he constructed this bridge and we accept Lord Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead because he lifted Govardhan Hill when he was only seven years old. We should not accept any rascal as God or an incarnation of God, for God displays special features in his various activities. Therefore the Lord himself says in Bhagavad Gita chapter 4 text 9 Janma karma chame devyam evam yoveti tattataha taktadeha puna janma naiti manuti sarjuna Dlatego Pan sam mówi w Bagawadnicie 4.9 Jan Makar Maczama Divyam Ewa Mioveti Tatwa Taha Jak Pan Deham Purna Narja Jan Ma Na Iti Mam Eti Sol Duna You don't have to read the Sanskrit because it's already Sanskrit. Yeah, I know, but I wanted to read the Sanskrit. One who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities does not, upon leaving the body, take birth again in the material world, but attains my eternal abode, O Arjuna. Ten opuściwszy to ciało nigdy nie rodzi się ponownie 
tym świecie materialnym, ale osiąga moją wieczną siedzibę o Arjuna. The activities of the Lord are not common. Czynności Pana nie są czymś zwykłym. They are all transcendentally wonderful. Wszystkie są transcendentalnie cudowne. And not able to be performed by any other living being. I żadna inna żywa istota nie jest w stanie ich spełnić. The symptoms of the Lord's activities are all mentioned in the Shastras, and after one understands them, one can accept the Lord as He is. Wszystkie symptomy czynności Pana zostały wymienione w Shastrach, i kiedy je poznamy, będziemy mogli zaakceptować Pana takim, jakim On jest. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so, the Prophet's making the point that Lord Ram could have, you know, any, he could go over that ocean, no problem. So he decided to do something to prove that he's God. And he would make stones float, and then the stones would float, it would create a bridge, and then they could walk over the bridge to Lanka and wage war and, and, and get Sita back. So what they did was they gathered stones and they wrote the name Ram on the stone. I to, co robili, to zbierali kamienie. Na każdym z tych kamieni pisali imię Rama. Jaj, Sidam! And because his name was on the stone, he, it floated, but of course that was his arrangement, that only stones with the name Ram would float, and stones without the name Ram wouldn't float. I taka była jego aranżacja, że wszystkie kamienie, na których napisano imię Rama, po prostu unosiły się na wodzie, a reszta z nich nie. And there's another story of someone who didn't believe in Lord Rama and tried, you know, to build a bridge with stones, but I think he, I think he ended up drowning or something. I była jakaś podobna historia, że ktoś podszywał się pod Pana Rama Chandra, i również usiłował zbudować taki because pływający na wodzie most, na ostatecznie utonął. Because he, uh, he wouldn't write the name Ram on the stone. He didn't. No, he didn't believe in Ram. I ponieważ ten człowiek nie wierzył w Pana Ramę i nie pisał yeah. na każdym z tych kamieni so, imię Ramy. Go to some scientific institute and say, if you write the name Ram on the stone, it will float. Yeah. See how you end up. See how fast they kick you out. <laughs> so here's a big stone that weighs a lot. How is it possible to float? So Prabhupada explained this very simply. So simple. Who made the laws of gravitation? So Krishna has come as Ram. So if he wants to change the laws of gravitation, why can't he do that? Because he made them in the first place a certain way, he can make them another way. Zatem jeżeli on jest twórcą prawa grawitacji, to jeżeli pojawia się tutaj jako rama, to mógł w każdej chwili to prawo zmienić, ponieważ to on je stworzył. Pretty simple, right? Jest to bardzo proste, prawda? Today we will alter the laws of gravitation and the stones will float if you write the name wrong. Dzisiaj, po, jak to muszę powiedzieć, wyjdziemy poza prawo grawitacji i kamienie będą pływały, te, które, na, na których jest napisane rama. So there was a, a so-called incarnation. 
In India, where all the so-called incarnations take birth. And he started an incense business to make money. And Prabhupada used to laugh at this. God is descending on this world. The avatar is appearing. But he's got to start an incense business because he doesn't have money. <laughs> and people are like, uh, they don't figure that out. <laughs> Another time Prabhupada was told that this so-called incarnation had a toothache and, and obviously toothaches are painful and so he They had to rush him off to the dentist. You know what it's like to have pain in your body. The pain totally controls you. Sometimes it's so painful you can't even think. Right? So now God's being controlled by pain and he has to rush off to the dentist? I don't think so. I don't think that's God. And then they'll say, no, you don't understand, it's his Leela. <laughs> But God, God's Leela is not to come here and have toothaches. I can get or at start a business. I can get a <laughs> Then the, um, the incarnations come to America and, and people fall for it. And Prabhupada used to say, you know, you American people are so intelligent, I can't believe that you fell for this person who cheated you and said he was God. Yeah. So that's why Prabhupada in this purport is, most of the whole purport is about what it means to be God and what it means not to be God. So you see in Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna is very intelligent. He says, Krishna, I know you're God. But, and you're saying you're God. But some people won't believe it. So you need to do something to prove it. Otherwise, anybody can say I'm God. And if he's charismatic, he's got a good advertising agency, he can convince people. In fact, we could start a school, train people. If you want to be God, this is how you act. So Arjun is seeing in the future this is going to be a problem. So he's asking Krishna, could you exhibit your power that no one else could exhibit? So when everyone else says God, we can ask them, okay, you have to exhibit the same power Krishna exhibited. I Arjuna już przewiduje, że w przyszłości będą tego typu problemy, dlatego prosi Krishna, by okazał, czy pokazał swoje moce, które miałyby być takim przykładem na to, że jest Bogiem i żeby w przyszłości, jeżeli ktoś będzie oświadczał, że jest Bogiem, będzie musiał pokazać takie same moce. So Krishna said, okay, that's a good idea. Well, he didn't actually say that, but more or less he accepted. 
No, z, Wiesz, nam tak powiedział, się że to jest dobra idea, ale tak naprawdę nie powiedział tak do końca, ale przyjął tą ideę. And he showed the universal form. I wtedy pokazał formę kosmiczną. Within that form you could see everything. Ponieważ in the universe, in one place. Zobaczyć wszystko w jednym miejscu. And Arjun said, it's like thousands of suns are rising, it's so bright. I on powiedział, Arjuna powiedział do Krishna, to jest jak tysiące schodzących słońc, taka ogromna jasność. And Arjun was like, he never saw anything like this. He had no idea. He was completely overwhelmed. I Arjuna nigdy nie widział czegoś takiego i on był całkowicie oszołomiony. He saw the demigods. Zobaczył półbogów. And he was saying, there's eyes, heads everywhere I look. This is overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. And he bowed down. On był tak oszołomiony, tak, był tak, pod tak ogromnym wrażeniem. Tam widział oczy, uszy, a on w pewnym momencie jedyne, co mógł zrobić, to złożył pokłon. So, this incense selling toothache, God was once asked to show his universal form. I pewnego razu taki guru z bólem zęba, czy też prowadzący biznes kaciciłowy został poproszony o, o to, by pokazać swoją formę kosmiczną. In other words, you say you're God, we just want to check your credentials. And, innymi słowy, mówisz, że jesteś Bogiem, my chcemy jakby sprawdzić Twoje referencje, czy też Twoje kwalifikacje. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like, creden you know, credential? Credential? No, no, absolutely. Okay. Uh, I come in here and I say I'm a. References? Yeah, I'm a professor. I'm a PhD. You know, well, where are your credentials? Where's your diploma? Credential. Where's your diploma? What? You know, where you but teach? But it's not potential. It's credential. 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 Yeah. Credential. Like, yeah. Where you know you get you get a job. So it's like you applying for a job. Like what? Where's your degree? What have you done? Those are credentials. So, um, you say you're God, can you show your, your universal form to us? Because, you know, otherwise we have doubts. Zatem proszę, pokaż nam swoją formę kosmiczną, ponieważ my mamy pewne wątpliwości. Yeah, well, I can. I ta osoba mówi tak. There's only one problem. You're not pure enough to see. No. And Prabhupada said, if he were God, he could give you the eyes to see. Yeah. Because in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna told Arjun, you can't, this form is transcendental, you can't see it, I have to give you the eyes to see it. Ponieważ również w Bhagavadgicie Krishna mówi do Arjuna, że Ty nie posiadasz oczu, by zobaczyć tę formę, ale ja obdarzę Cię takimi oczami, dzięki którym będziesz mógł ją zobaczyć. Ok. If you can't show your universal form, could you like lift a mountain with your pinky? That would convince us. W takim razie, jeżeli nie mogę zobaczyć tej Twojej formy kosmicznej, to może. Or you have the option of marrying 16,108 women and building a palace for them and giving them each 10 kids and maintaining them, no problem. Yeah. So. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, Prabhupada says, Krishna, everybody's got an idea of God, so Krishna comes to show, you know, forget your ideas, here I am, this is, this is what God is. Just show you, you don't have to guess anymore. Sometimes a man said to Prabhupada, can you see God? Actually, actually, many times people asked Prabhupada, and every time it seemed like he gave a different answer. 
Tak naprawdę bardzo często ludzie pytali Szlatropada o to, czy jest w stanie zobaczyć Boga i za każdym razem Szlatropad dawał różne odpowiedzi. He, 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 he understood the mentality of the person asking the question, so based on the mentality he would give an answer. I on rozumiał pewną naturę, czy też mentalność osoby zadającej pytania i dostosowywał swoją odpowiedź do tego. So he wanted to make a point that people talk about God, but they don't know what God is. I on chciał tak uczynić taki punkt, czy podkreślić taki punkt, że ludzie mówią o Bogu, a nie wiedzą, kim On tak naprawdę jest. So he said, you're asking me if I've seen God, and if you don't know what God is, and I say yes, what difference does it make? Powiedział wtedy do tego człowieka, ok, pytasz mnie, czy widziałem Boga, jeżeli powiem Ci nawet, że tak, a Ty i tak nie wiesz, kim On jest, to jaka jest to dla Ciebie różnica? In other words, the important thing is to understand who God is. Zatem bardzo ważną rzeczą jest to, by zrozumieć, kim Bóg jest. Like, like you ask me, do you have a million dollars? And I say, yes, it doesn't do you any good, you don't have a million. Tak jak możesz spytać mnie, czy posiadasz milion dolarów i ja powiem, no tak, posiadam, ale ty nie posiadasz żadnych pieniędzy, to jaka jest to dla ciebie różnica? So that was one answer. To była jedna z odpowiedzi. Another time, he was asked that question and he said, yes, I can see God and I can show you how to see God. Innym razem odpowiedział, tak, to ja jestem w stanie widzieć Boga i mogę um, pokazać ci Boga. Mm -hmm. Another time he said. Innym razem powiedział. Will you believe me? Is it, have you seen God? Will you believe me if I say yes? Ktoś mm -hmm. spytał, czy widziałeś Boga? On powiedział, a czy uwierzyłbyś mi, gdybym powiedział ci, że tak? It's interesting, right? If to someone asks you, have you seen God? You wonder, what if I say yes? What will they say? Will they leave the room and think I'm lying or what? Mm -hmm. Kiedy ktoś się pytał, to czy widziałeś Boga i zaczynasz się zastanawiać, ale czy te osoby w ogóle uwierzą w to, jeżeli powiem, że tak, czy po prostu opuszczą pokój, myśląc, że kłamie. And the man said, yes, I will believe. A ten człowiek powiedział, tak, uwierzę. And Prabhupada said, then it is okay. Wtedy Prabhupada powiedział, tak. I am seeing God at every moment. Powiedział, ja widzę Boga w każdej chwili. So, if you hear from someone who's seeing God, Then when an inc so called incarnation comes, you'll understand that's not God, because you'll know what God is. Jeżeli pojawia się osoba, która widziała Boga, if you know, if you see God, or you hear from someone who sees God, jeżeli widzisz Boga, albo słuchasz od kogoś, kogo, kto tego Boga widział, then you, then you know who God is. So if someone says I'm God and they're not, you know. In the early 70s, there was uh, one person who went by the name Guru Maharaji. He was at that time he was young. Maybe 10 or something. And his mother said that he was Ball, he was Ball Krishna, he was baby Krishna. Later they had an argument and she retracted her statement. He was no longer Ball Krishna. He was no longer an incarnation. I po jakimś czasie ona jakby dostosowała tę swoją, tę swoją, odpo, tę swoją koncepcję, że on już nie jest Bal Krishna i że on nie jest już inkarnacją. Something like his, I think there was some controversy that his brother was actually an incarnation. Not I tam pojawiła się pewna kontrowersja i zaczęto, zaczęto twierdzić, że to jego brat jest inkarnacją. Sorry everyone, we misled you, we made a mistake. It was the wrong brother. It was an I drodzy Państwo, przepraszamy, że wprowadziliśmy Was w błąd, ale tutaj wystąpiło pewne nieporozumienie. Tutaj nie ten brat jest Bogiem, to drugi jest Bogiem. And Prophet said something funny. I wtedy się prawa powiedział coś bardzo because, because a lot of people knew this person was bogus. I think they'd even like come to his talks and throw a pie in his face or something. Because you know, they were disgusted with it. 
I to było bardzo interesujące, ponieważ tak naprawdę w większości ludzie zdawali sobie sprawę, że jest to fałszywa informacja i często kiedy przychodzili na jakieś przemowy tej osoby, to nawet rzucali, że nie było jakimś ciastem. So as we know, and as Prabhupada told us, all the incarnations are listed in Shastra. So if someone says I'm an incarnation, they say, what page? What page are you on? I tak naprawdę wiemy o tym, że wiemy o tym od Szlapropada, że wszystkie inkarnacje są wymienione w siastrach, więc jeżeli ktoś się uważa, czy też mówi, że jest inkarnacją, to powinniśmy powiedzieć tak, jesteś inkarnacją, ale gdzie jesteś spisany, na której stronie? When they'll Someone take... might say that it's hidden incarnation. <laughs> hidden incarnation. <laughs> where, when you'll take birth, where you'll take birth, who your parents will be, what you will do, it's all in the Shastra. So Prabhupada said, if there is someone who is claiming, wrongly claiming to be an incarnation, you can go challenge him. And if he takes offense, you can tell him, you're God, you can kill me. If you want, you can, you, can just, you can do anything you want with me because you're God. Yeah. Yeah. So as we discussed yesterday, all the the great spiritual masters would never tolerate someone who is claiming to be God, who is not actually God. So that's what this verse is about. So, should we take questions and then, if there's time, we can do another verse? Może teraz pytania, i jeżeli będzie jeszcze chwila czasu, to możemy ewentualnie przeczytać jeszcze następny lektor. Ja mam pytanie. Pani chce zrobić to, co powiedział, że prawdziwy miłość duchowy ma. że prawdziwy miłość duchowy ma już określoną, określony związek z Kryszną. I jak uczeń może to sprawdzić, że on ma? Że on już jest na pozycji Rama na gitarze. Idę na grubo. Szlapopad Serdasz mówił, że spiritual master, he has uh, his, he already has his. Uh, like a relationship, uh, established, established relationship with, uh, with Krishna in the spiritual world. So how the disciple can uh, check up if it's really a true that uh, if he is a Uttama Adhikari Guru. It's easy. I'm working on technology. You know, you have these, you know, the airport, you have these little guns and they go down and see if there's metal. To, you know. I'm working on one. It's called the Adhikari Detector. Yeah. You rub it over your heart. And then you read the level of advancement of that person. And unless they get over a certain number, you don't want to take them as guru. <laughs> and then you go over my heart and it says I'm a low devotee, and I'll think, throw it away, it doesn't work. I wtedy bierzesz to urządzenie, przejeżdżasz koło mojego serca i widzisz, że tam jest poniżej poziomu. Mówi, nie, to nie działa. 
You say, no, this is 100% accurate. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hide <laughs> anything. Yeah. So, um, the, the duty of the guru is to perfectly represent his guru. So, in three ways, he has to understand. Then he has to teach it. And he has to live it. And, and if he does that, he's qualified. And, and you will know by associating with him because you will also make progress by his association. I będziesz to wiedział, ponieważ będziesz również robił postęp w przebywaniu w jego towarzystwie. How do you know the doctor is a good doctor? Skąd wiesz, że lekarz jest dobrym lekarzem? Because he cures you. Ponieważ leczy cię. And after he cures you, I potem jak cię już wyleczy, I said, well, wait a minute, what university did he go to and was he in the top of his class? It doesn't matter. Że w momencie, kiedy on już się wyleczył, to wtedy nie ma czegoś takiego, że zaczyna się zastanawiać, jaki uniwersytet on so, skończył, na jakie dokłady chodził, jakie miał tam oceny. To już nie ma dla ciebie żadnego znaczenia. So, the spiritual master can operate on your heart and pull out all the unwanted things in your heart, and you're inspired in your spiritual life, then what does it matter where he is? It doesn't. Because for you, he's high. Does that make sense? Jeżeli mistrz duchowy jest w stanie przeprowadzić operację na twoim sercu i usunąć z niego wszystkie niepotrzebne rzeczy, które tam są i inspiruje cię, cię to wtedy tak naprawdę jest to wystarczające i najważniejsze jest to, że on jest ponad tobą. I mean, I'm not saying... I mean, you could be blind and think you're making advancement. But, yeah. I feel inspired by this guru. Yeah, but, okay, that's good. But you want to look at it in terms of what are you actually doing now that's different than when before you met him. So there will be there will there will be transformation in your heart. There will be more detachment in your life. There will be more attraction to spiritual life. So, if someone is an uttama adhikari. Więc Highest devotee. Yeah, you should go there. But you want someone who represents the disciplic succession. Perfectly. Not just there are many elevated devotees that that wouldn't really help you. You know, like they wouldn't be able to represent their tradition to a Western mind. So they're very elevated, but you don't understand anything they're saying. So the idea is wherever you see Krishna in a person, you go there, take guidance. Wherever you get Krishna. To przyjmujesz, to przyjmujesz to przewodnictwo. Whatever country they come from, whatever level, it, it won't matter. Z jakiegokolwiek kraju ta osoba pochodzi, czy jakikolwiek poziom do tego. I have a funny story. Mam pewną zabawną historię. Kind of typical. Bardzo typową historię. Misunderstanding. Czyli tak zwane brak zrozumienia. There's an elderly Indian woman. And she is a disciple of Radhana Swami. And Radhana Swami is American. So they were discussing about her granddaughter's marriage and who would be a suitable husband. I one, oni dyskutowali na temat tego potencjalnego małżeństwa jej e, wnuczki e, i kto byłby ewentualnie dobrze, dobrym partnerem. And she said, I will 
never let my daughter marry a, a Western man, basically a non-Hindu. I ona powiedziała, ja nigdy nie pozwoliłabym na to, żeby moja wnuczka wyszła za mąż za um, nie Hindusa, czyli Because innymi słowy nikt z Zachodu. We all know what Westerners are like, right? My wiemy, jak, jak, jakiego rodzaju mężczyznami są we're all, Zachodni. We're all outcasts. Jesteśmy poza kastą. We're not part of the Vedic culture. Nie jesteśmy częścią tak zwanej kultury wedyjskiej. But Of course, according to Shastra, it says anyone can be a guru of any caste, any color, anything, man, woman, American, Polish, Indian, it doesn't matter. Ale zgodnie z Shastrami, każdy może być guru. Nie ma żadnego znaczenia, skąd pochodzi, czy z Ameryki, czy z Polski, czy jest kobietą, czy mężczyzną. Nie ma to żadnego znaczenia. So, she's very adamant that he, that her granddaughter has to marry an Indian, not, an, not a Westerner. I ona tak bardzo jest, jakby argumentuje na ten temat, że jej wnuczka musi koniecznie wyjść za y, osobę z Indii, absolutnie za nikogo z Zachodu. So they all say, hello grandma, your guru is from America. Ale wtedy właśnie jest, przychodzi takie, takie jakby otrzeźwienie, halo, halo, droga babciu, ale twój guru jest z Ameryki. And she must have turned red like a bee. I ona chyba zrobiła się czerwona jak szkoła, górę, mm. jak bur, a bi. I so she realized she made a mistake by saying that. I ona wtedy zrozumiała, że zrobiła duży błąd, mówiąc to. So you know the verse, say Krishna tattva vedi, say it doesn't matter where you, who you are, what you are, if you know, if you know Shastra, you know the science, you could be guru. Tak jak jest ten werset, który mówi o tym, nieważne kim jesteś, nieważne skąd wchodzisz, jeżeli znasz e, właśnie konkluzję siast, no to możesz stać się guru. One time a guru asked, a, a, a guru was asked the question you asked. E, pewnego rodzaju, pewnego razu, razu pewien guru zadał to samo pytanie, które ty zadałeś. And he said something interesting. I powie, powiedział coś bardzo interesującego. So, they're asking, well, How do you know who's an Uttama? Uttama means the highest. How do you know? Spytał o to, jak wiedzieć, że ktoś jest Uttama, czyli takim najbardziej zaawansowanym. And he was saying, it's up to the disciple to determine who's Uttama. It's up to the, to the disciple to, to determine who is the Uttama. Determine. Like, is he an Uttama? Who who's going to decide? The disciples. So in the eyes of the disciples. So the disciple decides. According to the disciple, you're Uttama. According to your wife, you're Ganeshna. But it doesn't matter because she's not your disciple. So when you approach your guru, you will you will naturally see them like Uttama or you don't have to artificially think they're like Prabhupada or anything, but you will to you it's like all you need. They're high enough for you. And maybe someday in the future you'll advance so much you'll Also want more secure gurus, you know. Um, i, I to czasami tak jest, że spotykasz takiego guru i w twoich oczach może ta osoba być utama, w tym sensie, że on jest wystarczająco dobry dla ciebie, ale z czasem, z biegiem czasu, możesz zrobić pewien postęp duchowy i możesz też szukać innego rodzaju guru, na przykład szybsza guru. But you know, if it's tangible, you have experience in the association of an advanced devotee that you're It's really helping you when you're advancing. You can't, you know, argue with that experience. Ale jeżeli ktoś e, ma takie doświadczenia, że w towarzystwie tak naprawdę zaawansowanych osób czuje, czuje się dużą inspirację i postęp duchowy, to nie można z tym jakby argumentować. Yeah, it's like, well, this doctor cured me of cancer. And I say, really? Does he have three PhDs? No, no he doesn't. He doesn't have any PhDs. Well, then you must not be cured. No, I am cured. No, you must not be cured. It wouldn't make sense. 
że powiedzmy, że lekarz się wyle, wyleczył Cię z raka i ja wtedy pytam Cię, ok, w porządku, ale czy Twój lekarz ma trzy doktoraty? A Ty mówisz, nie, on nie ma ani jednego doktoratu. No to ja mówię, no w takim razie to on się na pewno nie uleczył. Nie, uleczył mnie. Is that okay? You have a question? No to tak, Kuba też się zgodzą, że u czterech Halice się też tak myśleli, że są uleczeni, że mają postęp i tak dalej. He wanted to add something regarding mm -hmm. uh, the case of uh, Halitesha Swami, that his disciples on that time were convinced that they are making uh, progress in a sense that they felt cured. Ale pytanie mam inne. But I have a different question. Odnośnie Hiszparuty. Uh, regarding Hiszparuty. Uh, to jest cała Hiszparuty. Z jednej strony mówimy, że to jest dodatkowo sprawdzić. From the one side we are saying that asking to show a universal form is to check someone. Prabhupada też o tym pisał, on chyba nawet widzi też. And Prabhupada was writing about uh, about those things in the Z drugiej strony są też uh, same zakresy Bhagavad Gita, gdzie Krishna mówi, że nie jest to możliwe dla zwykłych osób, żeby widzieć. Mm -hmm. From the other angle, um, uh, Krishna himself is saying in Bhagavad Gita that for the ordinary person it's impossible to see też mówimy, że, też mówimy, że Arjuna to Bhakta nie był jakby tym zainteresowany. And we also say that uh, Arjuna as a devotee, he was not interested um, in seeing this. faktycznie robi to jako na korzyści innych. And uh, he did it for the benefit of others. Ale skoro inni nie mogą tego zobaczyć, so if others are not able to see it, to wydaje się, jak się trochę, no, jakby nie mogło sensu do końca. It, it seems that it doesn't make any sense. So maybe they have to have to. There is some other to. reason of, uh, like behind the curtain, the other reason that this uh, universal form was shown. Well, well, you would have to have, the, the point is, you have to have some faith in the Gita. And if you had some faith in the Gita, you wouldn't have to see the form because you would have faith that Arjuna saw it. It wasn't a made-up story. Trzeba mieć rodzaj wiary w Bhagavad Gita. W Bhagavad Gita, ponieważ jeżeli wierzymy w Bhagavad Gita i wierzymy w to, co powiedział tam Arjuna, no to wierzymy, że on tę formę kosmiczną zobaczył. Or you could also say, just to demonstrate God's power, to get some idea of what his power is. To może by było na zasadzie takiej, że to była po prostu demonstracja siły Boga, czym jest siła Boga. But it seems like you could make that same argument for every leela of Krishna. Ale wygląda na to, że ten sam argument można podnieść w każdej rozrywce Krishna. Because we can't see the leela unless we're pure. Ponieważ tak naprawdę nie jesteśmy w stanie zobaczyć tej rozrywki do momentu, w którym nie będziemy wystarczająco oczyszczeni. We have to read a book. And, and believe in the book. So it's similar. But Krishna is coming to do that lila so people with faith can understand this is what God is. Also, I, I think we could also say that maybe you can't see the universal form, but Krishna can reveal so many things to you if you're sincere. Możemy powiedzieć tak, możliwe, że nie będziesz w stanie zobaczyć formy kosmicznej Krishna, ale z drugiej strony Krishna może objawić tobie osobiście tak wiele rzeczy. Even if you're a very new devotee. Nawet jeżeli jesteś bardzo młody bhakta. You come to the kirtan. Przychodzisz na kirtan. And it's ecstatic. I jest ekstatycznie. And you don't even know what ecstasy is until you come to the kirtan. So that's Krishna revealing himself. Isn't it? He just he just reveals himself in different ways.
But there's also the verse, I give you divine eyes to see. That means Krishna could give anyone divine eyes if he wanted. But in, in Bhagavad Gita, uh, we, we can see that Arjuna was uh, fully surrendered. And those who are asking, uh, <coughs> asking uh, who are us, I'm confused. <laughs> um, the argument is that those who are asking are not fully surrendered. So if they are not fully surrendered, it means that they don't, will never get the eyes uh, to see this form. So it seems that uh, uh, their arguments are valid. <laughs> well, that was the argument Prabhupada gave. If you're God, give them the eyes to see it. In other words, you're advertising yourself as God. You got to do something to prove it. All right, maybe universal form is too much. But still, if you're God, you could do it and you could give them the eyes to see it even though I'm not qualified. I think the, maybe the particular is not so important, but there should be some manifestation in some way. Of this, somehow or manifest the six opulences, at least one of them. Czy ta osoba musi zamanifestować, czy pokazać sześć bogactw, przynajmniej chociaż jedną. <laughs> you know, in the introduction to Bhagavad Gita, did you know the introduction was actually a lecture that nobody wiecie, came to? Czy wprowadzenie do Bhagavad Gita, mm -hmm. ono tak naprawdę było wykładem? They organized a big program, nobody came, Prabhupada gave a lecture anyway. That became the introduction to Bhagavad Gita. So, so in the introduction, if you remember, Prabhupada said, if you're going to understand the Gita, you have to accept it, at least theoretically. Otherwise, you, you won't be able to understand it. Jeśli Prabhupada mówi w tym wprowadzeniu, że jeżeli chcesz zrozumieć Bhagavad Gita, to musisz to przyjąć, przynajmniej w teorii. W innym wypadku nie będziesz w stanie nic zrozumieć. So theoretical understanding would be, okay, this actually happened. Teoretyczne zrozumienie to znaczy, że rozumiesz i akceptujesz fakt, że przynajmniej to się wydarzyło. And Krishna told Arjun, even though Arjun is a devotee, but Krishna told, with your eyes, you cannot see. I have to give you divine eyes. So, it seems that goes together. Showing of the universal form and giving of divine eyes. Pokazywanie formy kosmicznej i obdarzanie boskimi oczami, by ją zobaczyć. And if you accept it theoretically, then Krishna is just showing a spark of his power. Jeżeli to przyjmujesz chociażby w teorii, to Krishna może pokazać ci chociaż tą odrobinkę, cząstkę swojego, swojej siły, swojej mocy. As far as I know, that was the argument Prabhupada gave. If he's God, he, he should give you, he can give you the eyes. What I said about this uh, accepting in theory, 
To jest właśnie to, o czym tak sobie myślałem, że tu na przyjmuje tą formę ucznia, słucha. This is what I actually thought, that Arjuna is taking place, is taking position as a disciple, and that's why he is hearing. W pewnym sensie w dziesiątym rozdziale Krishna opisuje taki sposób tą formę kosmiczną. And in the tenth chapter, Krishna is describing this universal form or some aspects of this universal form. Arjuna to akceptuje, mówi, że jest Bogiem i tak dalej. Then Arjuna is accepting it and is admitting that he's wrong. But finally, in the eleventh chapter, when he is seeing this universal form, he is starting to have some emotions about that. So we can see the difference that the Arjuna is accepting it, but he doesn't feel it. So we can see the the difference that before he. Accepted it, but he didn't have any emotions about that. But later, when he already saw it, he he felt it. He had some emotions. Taki przykład, że jeśli coś rozumiemy, to powinniśmy tak czy inaczej to w końcu doświadczyć. So for me, it seems that it's an example that if we know something, we should finally like realize it. Nie może być tak, że imponuje, nie mówię, że mam smak do świętego imienia, ale cały czas się zatrzymuje na imponowanie tych filmów, rodzin 16 i tak dalej. So it should not be in this way that I'm chanting my 16 rounds and I'm saying that I have a taste for chanting, but still I'm chanting only 16 rounds. Emocje płynące z doświadczenia na to nie pozwolą. So the, it seems that the emotions uh, that are coming from this, uh, from experiencing the taste of the holy name, will make me chant more. Yes. Tak. Unless you have 18 hours of service a day. Chyba że masz 18 godzin służby. You can't. You can't generalize because Prabhupada only chanted 16. Nie można tak do końca generalizować, ponieważ Szlokropat imponował tylko 16 dni. So, I, I agree. Zgadzam się z tym, co mówisz. But, but practically it may vary for each person. Um, ale w taki sposób praktyczny może się to różnić u uh, wielu osób. In other words, if someone's chanting 16, you go, oh, you have no taste, because if you did, you'd chant 32. Nie można nawet tak oceniać do końca, że jeżeli ktoś intonuje tylko 16, to znaczy, że nie ma do końca smaku. Could be true. To może być prawdą. They could have service. Ale może być też tak, że ta osoba ma jakąś służbę do wykonania i... You know, it's true with everything. To jest prawdą we wszystkim. If it's theoretical, theoretical means there's no experience. Jeżeli to jest teoretyczne, to znaczy, że nie idzie za tym doświadczenie. Thoughts are thoughts. Ponieważ myśli są myślami. Concepts without emotion. To są koncepcje bez pozbawione emocji. Not. Then you don't know if you actually understood it. I do końca nie wiesz, czy to wszystko zrozumiałeś. Yeah. At least we could say, if you have a taste, do you like to chant? Now, how many rounds you chant, I don't know, but you definitely like to chant. Przynajmniej możemy powiedzieć, że jeżeli masz smak do intonowania, to będziesz lubił intonować. Jakby już nie rozważając, ile tych rund intonujesz, ale na pewno będzie ten, będzie ta sympatia do intonowania. It's actually a symptom of advancement that you like to chant. To jest symptomem zaawansowania, że lubisz intonować. You like anything. You like the Bhagavatam. You like everything. Not just prasad. Nie tylko prasad. Yes. Mention that Prabhupada. Someone asked Prabhupada if he saw God, and Prabhupada said, 
yes, uh, I can see the gut and I can show you the gut. You need to, I can give you a process uh, that you can see the gut. So is jeszcze oprócz to, żeby mieć guru i wiarę w niego, co jest potrzebne, żeby zobaczyć Krishna? So what more we need to see God um, uh, except um, having a guru and having faith uh, uh, with him? You know. One, one. Yeah. Jeszcze, czy to znaczy, że jak ja zobaczę tego Krishna dzięki mistrzowi Boga? Does it mean that uh, I will see Krishna um, through the spiritual master or to jest coś, co jest na, 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 w tym momencie i to jest wystarczające na całe życie, czy, czy, czy to się jakoś zmienia? Czy, czy... Ale co jest wystarczające? No, że ja zobaczę Krishna teraz, dzisiaj i już tego Krishna widzę przez całe życie. So it means to that, uh, let's say, if I will see Krishna right now, it's going to be like uh, enough for me uh, and will, I will not see him in a different way. Enough for me? Like, enough for now. Yeah. This will be the one is the other. If I get the vision of Krishna, this will be just in this moment and this will be forever and just this is my Krishna and or this can I can lose this or I can this can develop and kind of Yeah. yeah. Everything could <laughs> be possible. I mean Narada Muni lost it, but that was you know, if it's, if it's coming before the stage of prema, it's just mercy. And you'll, and you'll probably lose it. And, be, and before prema, you, we see Krishna in different ways. And you were asking, what's the, how do you get to that point. Well, ultimately, that's Krishna how he's going to do it when he's pleased. No. You can't say, today I Krishna is going to reveal himself to me, because that's up to him, and you can't force him. Today I will chant for the next 16 hours, and I will force Krishna to show himself. And then Krishna is saying, with an attitude like that, I'm definitely not going to show myself to you. <laughs> you know, when you love Krishna, Premanjana Charita Bhakti. When you love Krishna, then you see Krishna. When you love Maya, you see Maya. You just see what you love. When you were asking about like, what else do we need to do to be able to see Krishna, I was thinking of that story when the Disciple asked the guru, like, how, how do I get, how do I become perfect, pure? And the guru brings the disciple into the river, dunks it. It's like, what's this guru doing? He's trying to kill me. <laughs> and he lets him come up, <laughs> back down again. <laughs> Looks like guru, guru abuse. Take your guru to court. <laughs> You know, this is called, um, what's the word for this? Experiential learning. <laughs> and the guru, as you know, the guru says, you know how much you wanted that air? Yeah. So that's the answer to your question, how you become perfect. You want spiritual perfection as much as you want the air. 
I to jest odpowiedź na Twoje pytanie, bo jeżeli będziesz pragnął tak duchowego rozwoju, jak pragnąłeś tego, tego powietrza, no to, to zagwarantuje Ci There's no way around that. Nie ma innego, innej drogi. Because the way the world works is we just direct our consciousness towards what we want. I na ten sposób działa wszechświat, jak kierujemy swoją uwagę w kierunku, które, tego, czego chcemy. You know, when people ask me, that how is it, or what, what's the secret to stay in Krishna consciousness? Czasami ludzie pytają mnie, jaki jest sekret tego, by pozostać w świadomości Krishna? My own experience is, you just want it. When you want something, you stay on the, tra the track, no matter what happens. Doesn't matter. The sky could fall, and you're still going on the track. Może samo niebo się zawalić, ale ty dalej pozostaniesz na tej ścieżce. Krishna can put everything you ever wanted on the path and you'll just walk around it because you want to get to the goal. I Krishna może umieścić tak wiele różnych rzeczy na twojej ścieżce, ale ty będziesz to wszystko omijał, ponieważ będziesz szedł do celu, do którego dążysz. And you know our our position as devotees is is it's not like well Krishna I've been a devotee you know all my life and so this year you don't reveal yourself to me and I'm leaving. And Krishna says, hmm, okay, we'll see you later, I guess. <laughs> so, the devotee's mood is, whatever you want. And why do I want to see Krishna? I want to see him because I want to deepen my relationship, not because it's going to be nice to see him better than seeing a movie I could see him. <laughs> then it gets more, a little more complicated, the question, because you are seeing him every day. I tutaj pytanie się komplikuje, ponieważ tak naprawdę widzimy go każdego dnia. We're seeing him in the Bhagavatam and the deity and the holy name. Widzimy go w Bhagavatam, w bóstwach czy w świętym imieniu. And then we're thinking, I wish I could just see Krishna. I wtedy myślimy sobie, chciałbym zobaczyć Krishna. You want to see him in the heart. Chcesz go zobaczyć w sercu. Put him there, you'll see him there. Unieś go w swoim sercu, to go tam zobaczysz. It's not like, it's not like he's going to put himself there. You have to put him there. To nie jest tak, że on umieści siebie w swoim sercu. To ty musisz go umieścić. Or you can say, he's already there. It's just clouds, you know. Bring out the sun. Nie zagrażasz pomyśleć sobie, że on już tam jest, ale przykrywają go tam. I want to see God. Get rid of the clouds in your heart. Mówisz, o, chcę zobaczyć je Kryszna. Ale tak naprawdę pozbądź się tych chmur, które zakrywają Kryszna w swoim sercu. It's like we want to blame Maya for our problems. Yes. Ostatnio, ostatnio od takiego, od mega bakty, bakty tak naprawdę takiego stałego, niezwykłej osoby. Usłyszałem e, taką historię. Recently I heard a story for a devotee who's like very well settled, meaning like advanced. Oh, okay. I e, mam wrażenie, że ma wiele wspólnego z tym, o czym jest mowa tutaj w tej chwili. And I have a feeling that this story is very much about uh, what we are talking about right now. Okay, let's hear it. Posłuchajmy. Ten Bakta odwiedził w średniej, w średniej wielkości mieście w Polsce innego Bakta. This devotee he visited um, another devotee uh, in a like an average size uh, city 
in Poland. Jechali samochodem i zapytał tego bakter, co słychać. And they were uh, driving the car together and then he asked uh, this devotee, how are you, what's up? On mu odpowiedział, że wszystko w porządku. And he said, all is good. On, on drążył temat, mówi, powiedz coś, powiedz coś więcej. And he was like, keep digging, uh, keep asking, uh, tell me more, tell me more. On mówi, że mm, od pewnego czasu chodzi mi po głowie, chodziła mi po głowie jedna myśl. And from and this devotee answered to that uh, for some time I have uh, this thought, the thought that I am having in my mind. Mianowicie, czy służba, jaką wykonuje, interesuje Kryszna, czy on ją w ogóle dostrzega? Is the service uh, I'm doing for Krishna uh, is recognized by him? Is he really interested with my service? Uh, i, mm, I cały czas ta myśl chodziła mu po głowie. I... And uh, he constantly had this one thought. I pewnego dnia bardzo wcześnie rano And one day, very early in the morning, wybrał się nad rzekę. He went uh, for, to a river, for a river. A nie wiem, w jakim celu intonował czy coś. It seems that he went there to, to chant. I mówi, że zauważył łódkę. And he, he noticed he saw, saw a boat. Łódka płynęła w jego, w jego kierunku, w środku, w środku byli dwaj mężczyźni i kobieta. Mm, and this boat was... Uh, płynęła, że swimming? Yeah. Co coming, uh, coming towards him and in this boat there were two men and one woman. Mówił, że ci mężczyźni mieli łuki ze sobą. Uh, and he said that those guys, they had uh, boats with them. I między nimi była jeszcze kobieta. And among them there was one woman. I wszyscy byli niezwykle piękni. And uh, all of them, they were really beautiful. W pewnym momencie zbliżyli się do niego. And they suddenly they like, came close, closer. I dostał taką myśl. And a thought came to his mind. Nic nie mówili, tylko uh, usłyszał taki głos w środku. Bądź pewien, że twoja służba jest bezcenna dla Kryszna. Uh, and he didn't hear anything, but he hears something from inside. Uh, this voice who were uh, saying to him that uh, be sure that the service uh, you are doing uh, for Krishna is very valuable. I mówił, że nikomu właściwie nie opowiada tej historii. And he said that he, uh, he didn't tell this story to anyone. Bo jest, uh, Because he is uh, an ex-alcoholic. And no one, would, no one would even um, put attention to this story or no one would even believe in this story. się wydają takie wrażenie, że to bardzo różnie wygląda, kto kiedy dostanie takie oczy i taką łaskę. So I believe that, <coughs> that it, it seems that jeszcze raz, że różnie to wygląda. So it's like more or less unpredictable who's gonna get the, the eyes and get the mercy. Well, yes or no? Tak i nie. If, I mean, he was chanting his rounds and he was thinking. So Krishna was reciprocating. So normally you get the mercy and reciprocation. And if Krishna is withholding mercy, it just means he wants you to try harder. He wants you to try harder if he withholds mercy. So, there is a system to mercy. 
Jest pewien system w łasce. It is reciprocal. Ona jest taka odwzajemniana. But Krishna can give more. Ale Krishna może dać jej więcej. Or withhold it. Albo może ją zatrzymać. If that's what's best. I to jest najlepsze. He can withhold or give. Mm -hmm. if, if that's what's best for the devotee. So, like I said, you can't go out and say, today I will get mercy. Because the bank full of mercy is in Krishna's hands. But you can do things that generally give mercy. You can do things which generally get paid out in mercy. And Krishna can give a bonus. Or he may not pay you today. It's up to him. But generally, you get paid for what you work. Ale generalnie otrzymasz zapłatę za swoją pracę. Is that okay or you, are you more confused or? No, there. There is a system, you know, you please the Guru, you get mercy. It's, 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 not, it's not accidental. Yes, yeah, Prasada Bhagavad Prasada. But if Krishna wants to give more, that's fine with us. And if we're not getting enough mercy, maybe we're doing something right and we're doing something wrong. You know, sometimes you want the mercy of the holy name. But your chanting is not good. Krishna, why aren't you giving me the mercy? And Krishna is saying, why don't you chant properly? Then I'll give you the mercy. You're chanting some weird mantra. You expect to get mercy. Not concentrating, so. Krishna doesn't love me, he won't give me mercy. <laughs> Certain, certainly doesn't love the way you're chanting. But if you do properly, the mercy is like it's right within the holy name. Yeah. It's like the mercy is contained within the whole process. You do it properly, it just shoots out. Like syrup out of a syrup you take a gulab jamun in your mouth. It's full of juice, right? You just put it in your mouth and you go, oh, there's no juice in this. Because you didn't bite it. <laughs> These gulab jamuns are no good. There's no juice in them. Prabhu, you have to bite them to get the juice. Or it's like, you're sucking a candy. This thing, this candy tastes like wrapper paper. Uh, the candy is wrapped in a little plastic paper. Ah, um, Prabhu, um, maybe you should take the wrapper paper off. Maybe you'll be able to taste it. It's like the mercy is there in everything. 
Zatem ta łaska jest we wszystkim, tak naprawdę. So I would say that devotee probably was hankering ja myślę, że ten a lot ksiądz, to understand, so Krishna reciprocated. Ten bhakta bardzo, bardzo chciał, pragnął ogromnie, by, by, by Krishna odzajemnił się na tym jego, na tym jego tęsknotę. And so when we get lazy, Krishna's like, well, Krishna will say, okay, no mercy for you. I want you to work harder. I'm not going to make it easy. You can make a million dollars a year, a million whatever shlakis or whatever you call them. You can make a million of those a year without working. Would you work? Jeżeli mógłbyś na przykład zarobić milion nie pracując, milion złotych, dajmy na to, to czy byś w ogóle pracował? Of course not. And so Krishna knows that. If I give you mercy without work, you stop working. So Krishna says, you want mercy? You got to work for it. Shnik, shnik, no mercy. Za takie rzeczy łaska nie przychodzi. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 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 Kr
Now the lazy devotee says, oh, that's so much work holding onto the rope. Isn't there an easier way? Yeah, out of here. The guru didn't throw the rope down and say, you have to climb up this rope. He just said, you have to hold on and I will pull you out. That's mercy. Yes. But may I have a question? Because that's a very, very good question. Um, because I will forget. Mahatma Prabhu, you said about the uh, Guru and disciples, and the uh, disciples, um, like my husband, he asked a question about Uttama Vikari, and uh, you said that for us, um, it seems that enough that someone is evolved and we feel inspired and we feel that we are making progress. And referring to what Prabhu said, that uh, disciples of uh, Sri Vishnu Pad, they thought that they are making, they were enthusiastic, then they, are, they thought that they are making advancement. And I'm wondering what is the real advancement, uh, but what is the a kind of imaginary advancement? Because we may be, like you said, in a total illusion that we are making advancement, and in a one point, Suddenly, out of nowhere, not out of nowhere, it's like out of nothing, we are just living Krishna consciousness and people are like shocked. What happened? This guy seems to be so advanced, he had so much enthusiasm, and he just <coughs> left. So, so, what is the real advancement? Well, well, Mąż zapytał o Tama Vikari i Mahatma Prabhu powiedział, że, że dla nas czy niekoniecznie musi być Tama Vikari, wystarczy, że osoba jest ponad nami i że jesteśmy zainspirowani i czujemy, że robimy postęp. I tak odnosząc się do tego, co powiedział tutaj Dharma Setu, że uczniowie Szybiczny Pada też myśleli, że robią postęp, też byli entuzjastyczni i nagle zniknęli. Więc czym jest prawdziwy postęp, a czym jest taki postęp, który my sobie jedynie wyobrażamy, że robimy? Bo może w ogóle tego postępu nie ma tak naprawdę. You know, this is a very specific question because you're talking about a very specific situation. But I'm like speaking in general. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it sounds like well, there's a couple of things. You could be making spiritual advancement at the same time doing something wrong. Możesz z jednej strony robić postęp duchowy, a z drugiej strony robić coś niewłaściwe. Like you're, you're living in the temple, you're celibate. Daj na to, że żyjesz w świątyni i praktykujesz celibat. You're distributing books. I rozprawiasz książki. And you're cultivating some weeds in your heart for fame. I w swoim sercu Simultaneously. jakby w swoim sercu zaczynają rosnąć pewne takie, takie chwasty, so one's going to give, one's going to take the lead. So it doesn't mean you weren't making advancement. You were making advancement. You just had a weed that could kill your advancement. Your advancement's also relative. To, you know, relative to how long you've been a devotee. So, you've been a devotee three years, and doing what you're doing is advancement. Six years later, you look back and say, I, was, I wasn't advanced. Dajmy na to, że jesteś 3 lata wielbicielem i sobie myślisz, o, tutaj już uczyniłem pewien postęp, ale kiedy mija 6 lat, to nagle realizujesz, że to chyba nie był postęp. I think another thing is, if you're in a if you're in a proper environment and you're well situated, you will show the signs of advancement. Although maybe down inside, if you're on your own, you would have crashed. Też jest kolejna rzecz. Jeżeli jesteś w sprzyjających warunkach, to możesz jakby okazywać takie symptomy zaawansowania, a w środku niekoniecznie być wcale zaawansowanym. I jeżeli opuścisz ten to środowisko, to kompletnie się rozbijasz. That's the impression I get when I hear your story. 
So it seems that it was artificial advancement. Not artificial, it was just the environment. The environment was probably you could but say it artificial. Was not real. It was not real. It, it's not it's not sustainable. Not it wasn't sustainable. But you when you're in a very powerful environment, you often think you're more advanced than you are because the environment is pushing you. Że często jak jesteś w takim bardzo znoszącym środowisku, to możesz myśleć, że jesteś bardziej zaawansowany right. niż jesteś w rzeczywistości. Get on your bicycle and start riding. Wsiądź na rower i zacznij jechać. If the wind's behind you, you'll be thinking, I'm in good shape, I'm riding really fast. <laughs> Jedziesz rowerem i kiedy wiatr ci sprzyja, jedziesz z wiatrem, to sobie myślisz, że jestem naprawdę w dobrej kondycji. And then when you turn around, you realize you're not in good shape because you're riding against the wind. Ale kiedy hard. jedziesz pod wiatr, to zaczynasz wtedy dopiero realizować, w jakiej, so, jaka jest twoja kondycja rzeczywista. I don't want to say the devotees weren't detached and blissful, but that detachment and blissfulness may have been circumstantial to that environment, which was a little bit artificial because that environment couldn't be maintained. I tak sobie myślę, że to, co przeżywali ci wielbiciele, czyli to szczęście i to odwiązanie było w jakiś sposób wygenerowane przez to środowisko, sprzyjające środowisko, w którym byli, kiedy to środowisko zniknęło, czy te warunki się skończyły, to nagle jakby skończyło się. It's an interesting. We'll get to you in a second. One second. It's an interesting. I think about, I was thinking about this a lot actually this morning because I heard a lecture by Prabhupada on this. I to jest ciekawe, bo ja też sporo na ten temat myślałam, ponieważ dzisiaj z rana słuchałam właśnie wykład Szła Prabhupada odnoszący się do tego tematu. And Prabhupada was saying, in every condition of life, either material or spiritual, you're conditioned by the environment you're in. I powiedział bardzo ciekawą rzecz Prabhupada, że zarówno w duchowych, jak i w materialnych warunkach, duchowe i materialne warunki, one uwarunkowują Ciebie. Jako wybicie wybierasz sprzyjające duchowe warunki po to, żeby one wpływały na Ciebie w taki pozytywny, sprzyjający sposób. Ale czasami możesz czuć się bardzo zainspirowany. Ponieważ to środowisko czy przestrzeń, która jest bardzo, and, jest bardzo inspirująca. And sometimes what happens is there's an osmosis factor where you start to feel like an advanced devotee because you're associating with that advanced devotee. A czasami może być tak, że zaczynasz się czuć jak wybicie zaawansowane, ponieważ jesteś w towarzystwie zaawansowanego wybicia. Which is okay. I to jest w porządku. As long as you realize what's happening. A do punktu, w którym ty wiesz, co się dzieje. There's a problem as you think now I'm advanced like they are because that's how I feel but it's actually coming from them. ale jeżeli problem polega na tym, jeżeli myślisz, że jesteś zaawansowany, a nie myślisz sobie o tym, że jesteś zaawansowany, ponieważ jesteś w towarzystwie tej osoby i to ona sprawia, że jesteś zaawansowany. I'm ready to conquer the world now. Jestem gotowy podbić świat. Nothing can stop me. Nic mnie nie zatrzyma. It's just the environment created that. I to, to środowisko czy przestrzeń, w której jesteś, yeah. ona sprawia, że tak I guess this is the introduction to today's workshop. Myślę, że to jest wprowadzenie do dzisiejszych warsztatów w seminarium, które będziemy mieli. So you have to be able to distinguish what mercy you're getting from the association and the environment and who you are. Myślę, że jest bardzo ważną rzeczą, żeby rozróżnić łaska, która płynie z sprzyjającego środowiska duchowego, w którym jesteś, i miejsce, w którym ty tak naprawdę jesteś, kim tak naprawdę jesteś. So I think in you may have all the symptoms of advancement, but they're they're not actually coming from you. They're coming from the this very powerful sangha, which was not sustainable. Tak i czasami może być tak, że możesz możesz mieć w sobie pewne symptomy, czy ukazywać pewne symptomy zaawansowania, które pochodzą tak naprawdę z tej bardzo yeah. potężnej sangi, której jesteś, a nie z poziomu yeah. zaawansowania, so, który masz. In this history, the proof that it wasn't sustainable is the person who created the sangha collapsed. He couldn't sustain it. I że to jakby nie byłeś, nie jesteś w stanie tego utrzymać. I tutaj w tej konkretnej historii, że wiesz, no pada, było yeah. to bardzo widać. 
że była osoba, która yeah. kreowała tę właśnie. The proof that it was artificial is nobody could sustain it, so when he crashed, everybody crashed. I można było to zobaczyć, że jakby on utrzymywał cały ten cały ten postęp duchowy, ale ponieważ on jakby upadł, odszedł, nie było już tego źródła, które sprawiało, że że cała reszta czuła się zainspirowała, a i oni również odeszli. And there were other places where gurus had difficulty, but it didn't have the same effect because they didn't create an artificial environment, so people just continued. I były też różne miejsca, w których guru również mieli problemy, czy odchodzili, ale ponieważ nie stworzyli takiego sztucznego środowiska, bo to, ponieważ to środowisko przypada było stworzone w sposób sztuczny, tak nadmuchany, wtedy te osoby nie odeszły, nie miały takich problemów. I mean, you, you, if you want to ask, you're asking what are the symptoms of spiritual advancement. They could do a whole class on that. Jeżeli na przykład pytasz o to, jakie są symptomy zaawansowania duchowego, to można z tego zrobić cały wykład. Are you becoming humble? Stanie się pokornym. Compassionate. Współczującym. Forgiving. Wybaczającym. Real. Prawdziwym. Detached. Nieprzywiązanym. Satisfied. Usatysfakcjonowanym. Happy. Yeah. Szczęśliwym. So many things. Jest tak wiele rzeczy. I think sometimes we think I'm making advancement because I'm detached. Czasami myślimy, że robimy postęp, ponieważ stajemy się nieprzywiązani. You're living in the ashram. How attached can you be? You only have a little room. You're too dotty to be free. You don't have a chance to be attached. Żyjesz sobie w ashramie, w jakimś małym pokoiku, masz jedną kurtę, jedną dotkę, więc do czego masz się przywiązywać? Nie masz nawet sposobu na to, by się. I'm very advanced. Half the time the hot water is turned off. I take a cold shower. You don't have a choice. I jesteś tak, co ty myślisz, że jestem tak przywiązany. I skończyło się po prostu ciepła woda i myjesz się w zimnej. Yeah, so. I okej, okay, ale bo jesteś zmuszony do tego, żeby myć okay. się. Okej, now let's see how advanced you are. We'll put you in the palace. A teraz zobaczmy, czy jesteś równie nieprzywiązany, kiedy umieścimy cię w pałacu. Yeah. Now what do you do? I co wtedy zrobisz? So that's part of not being able to understand. I to jest właśnie ta część, to jest taki brak zrozumienia. And sometimes you don't know. You just think I'm I'm really Krishna conscious. Well, you don't have a choice. You're in the ashram. You don't really have a choice not to. Just sometimes you think I'm just a happy Shiva Krishna, but you live in the ashram, so what's your choice? And you get up every day at four o'clock because you don't want anyone pouring ice water on your head if you don't get up. So I get up at four o'clock. O czwartej nad ranem, ponieważ nie chcesz wylewać na swoją głowę lodowatej wody, ponieważ później już nie ma wody ciepłej. I po kiedy wychodzisz z ashramu, wyjeżdżasz, bo odwiedzisz swoją żonę, swoją mamę, to pierwsze co robisz, to śpisz. Yeah, that's it. You want to know how advanced you are? Go visit your mother for a week and let's see what you do. Odpowiedź. Jeżeli chcesz zobaczyć, jak jesteś zaawansowany, to wyjdź ze świątyni z Asiam, w którym mieszkasz i odwiedź swoją mamę. Zobaczymy wtedy, co tam się dzieje. Yes, 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 yes. A moje pytanie, mówiłeś Prawu o e, tym, że możemy żyć właśnie w świątyni, w Asiamie. E, Prawu, you said that we can live in the temple or in Asiam. E, I robić dobrą służbę oddania i w ogóle mieć e, no dobrze działać w tym ośrodku. And so we can uh, do a good uh, service. Ale w naszym sercu mogą wyrosnąć jakieś chwasty. But still in our heart uh, the weeds can grow. Moje oh, pytanie yeah, jest praktyczne. I have a practical question. Co możemy zrobić, żeby po prostu wyrwać te chwasty? <laughs> do, cały wykład. Mm. So his class, his, uh, his uh, questions were practical. So what we can do? To just uh, remove uh, the weeds. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's this company. What's it called? That company that makes weed killers that's destroying the planet. Monsanto. Monsanto. Tak jak jest taka firma, która niszczy wszelką roślinność Monsanto. We need the Monsanto mantra. Potrzebujemy mantra Monsanto. The first thing to kill a weed is to recognize it. Pierwszą rzeczą, by pozbyć się kwasu, jest rozpoznanie tego kwasu. And sometimes it's way more difficult to recognize the weed than it is to kill it. 
wszystkim. Często albo nawet najczęściej trudno, trudniej jest rozpoznać sam kwas niż go wyplenić. I was thinking in today's class, I'll ask you a question. Tak sobie myślałam dzisiaj w wykładzie, że zadam pytanie. Is there something about yourself you are afraid to admit to yourself? Czy jest coś w tobie takiego, co boisz się przyznać nawet przed samym sobą? That's a hard question to answer because you may be afraid to answer the question. To jest tak trudne pytanie, ponieważ możesz nawet się bać odpowiedzieć na nie. So If you're able to recognize it without becoming depressed, discouraged, like like it's I have a weed, but I'm I'm okay. I'm not a bad person because I have a weed. I've had millions of lifetimes, so I've had time to grow these weeds. Minęło już miliony lat, kiedy jestem w tym świecie i był czas na to, by te pasty się pojawiły. Without false ego, I'm ready to face the weeds and work on them. I bez fałszywego ego chcę zmierzyć się z tymi pastami i wykonać je. And I'd rather live without weeds. I ja chciałbym żyć bez tych pastów. That's all you need. And then Krishna will reveal the rest how to deal with it. I wtedy to jest wystarczające, wtedy Kryszna objawi ci wszystko no. i pomoże ci, da ci też sposoby na to, by się pozbyć tych pastów. You know, you can say there are different strategies for different weeds. Można powiedzieć, że są różnego rodzaju strategie na różnego rodzaju pasty. But the strategy I gave you is the foundation. Ale ta strategia, którą ja ci daję, jest samą was, podstawą. Oh yeah, I was doing a forgiveness workshop. And we were like maybe two thirds into the workshop, and I was looking at the face of one devotee, and I was thinking, this devotee is not letting go. I could see it on the face. Byliśmy już tak w dwóch trzecich tych warsztatów i spojrzałam na twarz pewnego wielbiciela i tak sobie pomyślałam, ta osoba nie odpuszcza. So Krishna inspired me to ask a question. I was asking her, but I gave it to the whole class. But I knew it was for her. Krishna zainspirował mnie do tego, bym zadał pewne pytanie i to pytanie kierowałam tak naprawdę bezpośrednio do niej, ale powiedziałam jej je publicznie. Really interesting question. I to jest bardzo interesujące pytanie. If Krishna came to you right now and said, whatever resentment is in your heart, I will take it away, would you let him? Jeżeli Krishna by teraz do ciebie przyszedł bezpośrednio i powiedział, jakąkolwiek urazę masz w swoim sercu, ja jestem gotowy ją zabrać, czy pozwoliłbyś mu na to? And that girl raised her hand. She said no. <laughs> the person I'm trying to forgive doesn't deserve to be forgiven. So how will you pull that weed with that attitude? So, so if you want to pull the weed, you have to be able to be open to develop the attitude that's necessary to pull the weed, and that is not the attitude at all. Okay. I'm envious of this devotee. I admit it. Am I, am I willing to bake him a cake and give him a massage? I powinien być gotowy na to, by upiec tej osobie ciasto i zrobić jej masaż. No way. Nie, nie ma mowy. Okay, so you can sit with your envy. To możesz tak jakby wpaść tej swojej wesołości. The, the rest of your life. Do końca swojego życia. Or you could bake him a cake and be nice to him. Albo możesz upiec tej osobie ciasto i być dla niej miły. And you are the only one who can decide what you're going to do. And that decision is highly motivated by whether how much you want to actually let go of this envy or resentment or whatever it is. There's, there's many of us who in the back of our mind don't want to be humble because we're thinking if I'm humble I'll be taken advantage of. I myślę, że jest wielu z nas, którzy gdzieś tam wewnątrz siebie czują, że nie chcą być pokorni, ponieważ boją się być pokorni, gdyż czują, że ktoś może ich wykorzystać. 
Being humble doesn't look like a lot of fun sometimes. Like being up here looks a lot more fun than being down there. And humility is the essence of bhakti. So you have to work this out in your head so that when you look at humility you say, yes, this is what I want. Whatever it looks like, I don't care. This is what I want because this is beautiful. This will get me look like this with Krishna. Um, I musisz to przepracować w swojej głowie i dojść do wniosku, że tak, ja tego chcę. Jakkolwiek by to mi wyglądało, ponieważ ta rzecz, czyli ta pokora, sprawia, że ja będę tak blisko Krishna. Once you realize that the closest place to Krishna is humility and the furthest place from Krishna is pride, then you want to be humble. But before that day comes, being humble, pretty much impossible. Does that make sense? What if you could sell water that was empowered with homeopathic medicine and if you took it, it made you humble? And right now we gave everybody a bottle of that water. <laughs> so who's going to drink it? <laughs> we got one volunteer. Two, three, yeah. So, <laughs> I want to drink a little test. Can I just get the bottle that only lasts for a day? I want to test, test it out. <laughs> see I like it. You see, so anything you want to develop, you have to go through in your head so that you actually want it and say, this is better. If I give up this pride, it'll be better. Then you'll be able to do it. Cokolwiek chcesz osiągnąć, right. najpierw musisz to przerobić w swojej głowie, musisz zrozumieć, że to jest coś, czego naprawdę chcesz i że to osiągnięcie tej rzeczy będzie dla ciebie dobre. So realizing I have it and being willing to give it up, then it, it'll happen. Czyli zrozumienie tego, że to posiadam i rozwinięcie pragnienia, by się tego pozbyć. I wtedy przyjdzie sposób na to, jak to zrobić. No na ogół to pokorny, to nie znaczy, że muszę pozwalać się wykorzystywać i tak dalej. Uh, I would add that uh, being humble doesn't mean that I will let others to take advantage of me. Uh, so we cannot be afraid to be uh, humble. Uh, Arjuna, he was also humble. Mm -hmm. And regarding uh, this uh, removing weeds, uh, and uh, use, we, use, like saying what you said, that uh, the efforts attracting mercy. I heard a statement, nice statement. Maybe, maybe yes, we are in a hopeless condition and the Maya is powerful and um, and Kaliuga is very like overwhelming. But the efforts that we are making showing that we care. That, that maybe uh, there, there will be no significant um, uh, result, but still Krishna is saying, yeah, this person he cares, he is making efforts. Yeah, that's all you have to do. That's all you can do. And then you just, just add Krishna's mercy. But the good thing is Krishna wants us to become, to go back to him. So he wants to give mercy. You know, how big is your cup? How much can you hold? Jak wielka jest 
twoja y, twój kubek czy twoja filiżanka so, ile jesteś w stanie w niej zmieścić make a bigger cup you get more mercy jeżeli ją powiększysz to wtedy zdobędziesz więcej łaski you right uh, no just living in Hamburg I have been Hamburg towards God or our consciousness not towards any other person Well, it starts. It's if you're humble to God, you'll be humble to everybody. But his point was, you, you're not going to let people abuse you. Czyli bycie pokornym w stosunku, jeżeli staniesz się pokornym w stosunku do Boga, będziesz również pokornym w stosunku do wszystkich innych osób. Ale tutaj punkt prawdy był taki, że nie powinniśmy dać się wykorzystywać innym. We have a verse. You should be humble like grass and tolerant like a tree. Jest to powiedzenie, że powinniśmy być pokorni jak tolerancyjni jak słowa, a pokorni jak drzewo. And Prabhupad said, like if if someone comes to attack another devotee, put that verse on hold and take care of that person. I kiedy ktoś atakuje innego wierzyciela, to powinniśmy jakby ten odłożyć ten werset i zająć się tym wierzycielem. Humility is a state of consciousness. More, I think, if we define the state of consciousness better than defining the action, because we can misunderstand. Że to jest pewien poziom świadomości, to jest stan świadomości, który możemy zdefiniować. Defining the state of consciousness. Możemy zdefiniować poziom świadomości. Defining the action can be confusing. Aha, i jakby, a, a, a działanie może sprawić, stan świadomości, a działanie mogą sprawić, że jesteśmy tacy zmieszani, że nie do końca rozumiemy. If you look at Bhagavad Gita, tak jak spojrzysz na Bhagavad Arjun says, I don't want to fight. Arjuna mówi, że ja nie chcę walczyć. Looks like humility. I to wygląda jak pokora. And detachment. I nieprzywiązanie. It looks like so many good things. To wygląda jak wiele, wiele takich wspaniałych rzeczy. When he actually fights, ale kiedy zaczyna naprawdę That's when he became humble. walczyć, to wtedy Because stał się bardziej pokorny. He submitted to Krishna's instruction. Ponieważ Before on he was zaczyna, not submitting to Krishna's instruction. Ponieważ on zaczyna się bardziej za instrukcjami Krishna, a wcześniej, um, wcześniej yeah. tak naprawdę so, był zwiedziony. Humility in relation to Guru is to take the instruction. Pokora w stosunku do Guru to przyjmowanie Jego instrukcji. Humility in relation to God is taking instruction. Przyjmowanie, pokora w stosunku do Boga to również przyjmowanie Jego instrukcji. And the consciousness of humility in relation to other people is respect. A pokora w stosunku do innych osób to oznacza szacunek w stosunku do Boga. Because I can respect you until I think I'm better than you, then I disrespect. I'll start to disrespect. Jeżeli mogę się szanować do punktu, jeżeli myślę, że jesteś lepszy od mnie, jeżeli myślę, że jestem lepszy od Ciebie, to wtedy zaczynam Cię nie szanować. And we take humility all the way up to respecting all life. I my podnosimy tę kwestię pokory do szacunku w stosunku do każdego życia. You're walking down the street and you see a bunch of ants or other insects. Jeżeli idziesz przed ulicą i widzisz na przykład jakieś insekty albo mrówki, you respect them, so you don't walk on them. Szanujesz je, nie zdeptując ich. You don't respect them, you walk on them. They're just ants. Doesn't matter. Jeżeli ich nie szanujesz, to po prostu zdeptasz je, zdeptujesz. One nie mają żadnego znaczenia. Now here's something. I tutaj jest coś. This is heavy. I to jest bardzo takie ostre. What we see in the lives of great devotees. To co widzimy w życiach wielkich wierzycieli. And this is hard to understand. To jest trudne do zrozumienia. And we can't imitate it. I nie możemy tego imitować. But they think that everyone's better than them. Oni myślą, że każdy, każda osoba jest lepsza od nich. It's not low self-esteem. I to nie jest niskie poczucie samego. It's not any kind of psychological problem. To nie są problemy psychologiczne. It's a realization. To jest realizacja. That somehow or other. When you become spiritually evolved, you realize your impurity. And when you're not spiritually evolved, you think you're very elevated. Or less spiritually evolved. So when they become very spiritually evolved, they start feeling lower. I kiedy stają się duchowo zaawansowani, oni zaczynają czuć się nisko. I 
zaczynają myśleć, że wszyscy są And they're always praising everybody. I w ten sposób chwalą każdą osobę. Now, this is really interesting. I to jest bardzo interesujące. Because if we're always criticizing others, what does that demonstrate? Ponieważ jeżeli ciągle krytykujemy, krytykujemy innych, are we high or are we low? We're czy very low. Czy jesteśmy wyżej, czy jesteśmy niżej? Because we think we're high. We think we are high, but actually we are very low. That's the sign of being low, you think you're high. And the sign of being high is you think you're low. And, and being humble also means we're not trying to draw attention and applause to ourselves. I bycie nisko, bycie pokorne to też nie przyciąganie uwagi um, w stosunku do siebie i nieoczekiwanie wychwalania. I to say i kiedy jesteśmy chwaleni za jakąś wspaniałą rzecz, którą zrobiliśmy, to zawsze staramy się, um, można powiedzieć, wznosić swoje oczy ku niebu i doceniać to, że so, jesteśmy upełnomocnieni, ponieważ uh, ego chce czuć, że to my zrobiliśmy, a tak naprawdę so, to here's something funny. powiem wam teraz coś And I'm sure this, you all relate to this. I myślę, że każdy z was so, będzie mógł się let's say you're doing a cure time. And you're chanting Jai Guru Dev. And so Jai Guru Dev means all glories to my Guru. And while you're chanting, you're chanting it really beautifully. And you're thinking, people must be appreciating how I'm chanting. <laughs> so it's no longer Jai Guru Dev, it's Jai Guru Dev and Jai Me. <laughs> Jai Jai Mi, I sing so sweetly. Jai Jai Mi, ja tak wspaniale śpiewam, tak słowo. Right, isn't it? Yeah. So I. You always say, what is in, in your mantra? Yeah, what's in your mantra? Yeah. What's in your mantra? Like, you know, what did you sprinkle? What kind of garbage did you sprinkle in that mantra? Jakim rodzajem śmietnika spryskałeś tą mantrę, którą mi tam dajesz? When someone is very elevated, that is totally absent. That that ego is, it's only it's their service and singing, whatever it is, it's pure devotion. There's nothing else. Yeah. Can you actually remove the spiritual ego? No, you remove the false. The, the ego is I'm serving. Yeah. The spiritual ego is I'm serving. Ego means I am something. So we call it false ego, ahamkara. Ahamkara is Sanskrit for false ego. It's a, false ego means I am. In any word you put other than servant, that's false ego. More or less. I'm Polish. No, you're not. That's just your temporary identity. I am servant. I am soul. I am consciousness. Yeah, that's who I am. Yeah. So anything other than I'm servant, soul, consciousness. I'm full of chip. I'm full of chip. Okay. Satchit Ananda. That's who I am. Yeah, so that's real ego. So, you can't annihilate ego because then you annihilate identity. And how can you annihilate, annihilate, annihilate identity because you're, I am trying to annihilate my identity. You, you're, you are still there. So you can't do it. I have quite interesting experience when I'm waking up morning, so you have, have to be humble today. And my thoughts became completely opposite. I, I became jealous thoughts, anger thoughts, and situations coming, like somebody bumping. And it's quite interesting. <laughs> 
what to do. And it's just that, yeah. There's always, you can always jump out the window if it gets really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, the You, you know what I think it is? It's like you have to you have to have the right consciousness to do it. You can't just like I'm going to be humble. And the yeah. mind's going, You're not going to be humble. Um, it's not possible for you. And the, mind, the mind is saying, if you become humble, they're going to ask you to clean all the toilets. No one's going to clean them but you. I'm not going to be humble. The mind's just going to revolt. You know, when you become a devotee, you tell your mind, I've become a devotee. Your mind says, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not a devotee. I'm not going, I'm not going to do that. So the mind, the, the harder you try, the more it revolts. That's why you have to do what I told him. You have to understand what humility is, because because then you're altering the mind, so there's nothing to revolt now. There's another thing that I found that really helps. When the mind revolts, then you understand it's not me revolting. This is the mind that I cultivated for millions of lifetimes. This is what I taught it to do. I taught my mind to say, when, when I say humble, fight back, don't do it. Right? Yes. Right? You're like, I'm moving to the ashram, I'm going to be celibate. And the mind says, but what about bhakti, you know, Susan? <laughs> you know, yeah, because that's how the mind's been thinking forever. So, if you understand that, then it's much easier to just go, that's just my mind, you know, doing what I told it to do. When your mind acts up, just chant this mantra, whatever. Mommy, mommy, I want this, I want that, whatever. We're not getting that. But I want it, I need to have it. Whatever. But what about what about uh, negotiating with the mind in the sense that uh, like giving him I'll give it to you tomorrow. Just no, 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 no. <laughs> Sometimes when my mind uh, is uh, like saying uh, different things, then I'm saying to him or her, I don't know <laughs> what yeah. gender my mind has, but I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for concern. I understand that you have a good intention. Uh, but the advice you are giving me is like a, the best advice you can, but let me think about it, let me... Uh, I just know that you have a good, uh, let me say, good intention. And then he's like, okay. <laughs> well, it's similar, it's kind of similar to what I'm saying. You know, I understand what you're because saying. Because when you are neglecting the mind, because for me it sounded like neglecting, and the mind is becoming stronger if you are neglecting a child, the child is becoming even could, more could be, uh, uh, obnoxious. The other thing you can do is tell the child, you know, sugar is really bad for you. You just give me three minutes, I'll convince you how it's going to kill you. Well, listen, what? You 
um, like little not, candy for no, pacified. Yeah, to pass, maybe not pacify, but like a kid wants a, a candy, and then you are giving him a healthy banana, right? So giving yeah. something to the mind. That, yeah, you uh, could, you could, but um, but still you have to convince the mind the banana is better than the than the sugar. <laughs> Otherwise, the mind's going to say, "Give me the sugar, forget the banana." Right? So you have to. There has to be. We have to reformat the mind because we don't want the mind just being the same as it always was. Yeah, but studying psychology, uh, like psychologists, we are saying that the mind uh, is, um, in most cases, oh, is trying to trying to protect us. Yeah. Uh, so if we are like um, giving uh, the mind this benefit, uh, like you are trying to protect me. Uh, then the mind is really is not bothering us that much because like when there is a difficult situation the mind is starting like ooh different ideas what to do how to and you know okay thank you you are I think Krishna created in this way to just help us to somehow if we program so the mind not, in a yeah, right way why not way. tell the mind how to protect you I mean in my case, I can say, say, speak only from my experience that my mind is programmed in a way that the, if the difficult situations are coming, he is trying to give me different kind of advices. So what we can do right now? What's going to be beneficial? What's going to happen if you, I don't know, do something like that? Uh, and then, and I'm saying, okay, thank you. Uh, I have to think about it. <laughs> And I will make a decision, not you. <laughs> Tell the mind I have to think about it. That's, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> Me and my mind. <laughs> well, ultimately, you can say whatever works for you. Anybody, sensie, anybody, że, yeah. że ja też spytałam Maha tak naprawdę, czy, czy dobre jest takie negocjowanie z umysłem, bo przynajmniej I, ja know. mam coś takiego, że ja negocjuję z umysłem i ja staram się go postrzegać I, jako coś dobrego, ponieważ psychologowie tak mówią, że umysł jest też po to, by nas w jakiś sposób chronić i, i, i różne rzeczy, które on nam podpowiada, oczywiście jeżeli jest dobrze zaprogramowany, bo jeżeli osoba ma jakieś problemy, no to może też prowadzić do bardzo negatywnych, a przynajmniej w moim przypadku jest tak, że Ja negocjuję z umysłem i przyjmuję jego jakieś tam porady i mówię, ok, dobrze, dziękuję za poradę, ale pomyślę na ten temat. Hmm. Ale każdy ma inne doświadczenia, tak so, jak powiedział So, you know, in my older years, I started thinking, I'm sick of fighting my mind and negotiating. Why don't I just make my mind work the way I want it to work? Że ja już w moim wieku tak stwierdziłem, że nie chcę mi się tam negocjować z tym umysłem, że już tak chcę, żeby on Yeah. Like, you know, there's so many tricks you could use, and I just thought, well, why put energy into negotiation when I can just, you know, like, make it work for me? That would be easier. Oh, Bhakti and Susan is so beautiful. <laughs> and then my mind thinks, this is fantastic, she'll go out and sank her tongues? And all the men will, all the men will uh, take books from her. This is going to be great. And I was in Radha Kun this year. You know, Radharani is the most beautiful woman. And she was, she was telling me. She said, when you see beautiful woman. May they remind you of the gopis. So it'll be, you know, an impetus. That's good. Okay. You know, there's four billion of them out there. I can think of four billion gopis. You know. That's good. Yeah. Say his mother. Or his gopis, Krishna's gopis. Yeah. The, the point is, they're not mine. Krishna is not created for me. Well, he created one. That's all you get. Is one. One. If you can handle one. That's all you get. That's all you get. That's all you get. And the rest are for him. So why not just let the mind, you know, digest that? That's easier than fighting it. 
Tę myśl. I mean, you know, it's another thing also. This is important. Even before I was a devotee, this, the idea of exploiting another person for my sense gratification was repulsive to me. But the mind is conditioned to exploit. Ale umysł jest w ten sposób uporządkowany, że chce wykorzystać. So, so, I always want my mind to be aligned with what's what I value. Yy, dlatego ja staram się, by mój umysł był w zgodzie z wartościami, które reprezentuję. So I want my mind to be programmed to think of everyone in terms of service, not enjoyment. I dlatego staram się, żeby mój umysł postrzegał innych w kategorii służenia tym osobom, a nie wykorzystywania tych osób. To kind of get your values in your mind lined up. Żeby jakby, za, jakby wyryć w swój umysł you te wartości, które się kierują. Takes work. Że to nie będzie to pracowało dla nas. You have something? No. No. Yes, no. You. <laughs> it seems that you're gonna sit here till the uh, well, yeah. <laughs> beginning of the seminar. We tell everybody they the missed the first half of the, of the seminar. Maybe. 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 Uh, is it something wrong? Mówisz o sobie. Mówię ogólnie. Something wrong in a situation uh, that, uh, uh, let's say, there is five spiritual masters and only one uh, is making you feel inspired, but the rest of them not that much. Is there something wrong? No, it's just, to nie jest nic it's just life. It's just life. You know. Five different cooks. You like one of the cooks way more than the other cook. As long as you see it as a subjective personal choice. You know, Bhakti Vinod Thakur said you should choose a spiritual master with whom you're compatible. Bhakti Vinod Thakur mówi, że powinieneś wybierać mistrza duchowego, z którym czujesz taką kompatybilność. So maybe some guru comes and is really like strong, strict, heavy, quotes lots of Sanskrit. I cytuje bardzo dużo sanskrytu. What about Vedic culture? I stawia nacisk na kulturę wedyjską. And that's exactly what you're like. I to jest dokładnie to. You're going to be like, this is my guru. Right? It's natural. So I, can I can relate to this. I want to be tough, strict, conservative, learn lots of shlokas, learn Sanskrit, learn everything about the Vedas. So it's natural. Now, if you like chocolate, you definitely want to find a guru who likes chocolate. Who are you going to offer your chocolate to? <laughs> I took initiation. Later, I found my guru doesn't like chocolate. I want a de-initiation. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Find a sixth guru who likes chocolate. Be fine. Yeah. The problem with this, that you won't have this problem. You're too old to have this problem. But the problem is some, sometimes you, you get initiated when you're very young, and when you're like 30, 35, you're like this totally different person. You've gone from like ultra conservative to like ultra liberal, and you have this like super conservative girl. You're like, okay. How did I end up? What do I do now? 
Ale czasami jest taki kłopot, ale to jest kłopot, który ty masz, bo czasami osoba przyjmuje inicjację w bardzo młodym wieku, będąc bardzo, bardzo ścisłą, e, bardzo taką konserwatywną wręcz, czyli z biegiem czasu, kiedy mija kilkanaście, lat, kilkadziesiąt lat zmienia się i nagle realizuje, że jest w związku z bardzo konserwatywnym grupą. I co ja mam teraz z tym zrobić? Good happen. Takie rzeczy się zdarzają. Wtedy możesz przyjąć ślicznie Who you feel more connected to. It's okay. Osobę, z którą czujesz większe połączenie. You just don't, you know, if you don't relate to other gurus as much as one guru, you just don't offend them. Just realize jeżeli, it's just subjective. Jeżeli nie czujesz w jakiś sposób inspiracji, czy ze strony też innych guru, jedynie jakby twój guru cię inspiruje, to nie ma w tym nic złego do momentu, w którym nie obrażasz tych osób i wiesz, że to jest twój subiektywny punkt widzenia, to jak ich postrzegasz. Otherwise we just have a, a, an international nursery school. My guru is better than your guru. Um, wtedy w innym no, wypadku, wy, 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 wypadku tworzymy takie międzynarodowe towarzystwo przedszkolne, My guru can że chant. mój guru jest lepszy niż He can mój chant six shlokas every minute. On może jeszcze mieć sześć minut. Sześć minut. We just, be, you know, just all like emotionally immature people I arguing who's the best guru. My guru's got more disciples than yours. <laughs> My guru tells better stories than <laughs> yours. <laughs> He's got more hits on YouTube than yours. <laughs> oh, and that's why you chose him to be good. Exactly. <laughs> of course, that's why I chose him. Yeah, so. You want to choose someone who inspires you, who you resonate with. You can surrender to... <laughs> One girl wanted to accept me as guru. She said, I have one question. Were you vaccinated? <laughs> she said, because if you were, I can't accept you. I said, hmm, okay. What Shastra is that in? <laughs> What ja Your guru myślałem, cannot be vaccinated. He's not bona fide. <laughs> she had been a devotee um, many years ago, so she knew the philosophy. And she said, yep, you're right. It's not the qualification. So you have to know the qualification. But, but you also have to be compatible and inspired. That's fine. That's fine. Just don't be offensive. To other Just not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea, Kevin. Well, that's okay. That's fine. Someone else's cup of tea. And all those gurus can help you in some way. For sure, right? They all help you. Hmm. I have something about the mercy. Mercy. Okay. Dessert. This is, this is, this is, this is my experience. Dessert. Before I was thinking mercy is like I getting happiness, I getting like distress. This was good. Oh. But now somehow I getting if I'm more sober about this is this mercy, this like my experience was mm -hmm. More sober means what? You see everything is mercy? Less doesn't matter. The distress and happiness oh. I just oh, yeah. I just It's equal. It's all mercy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wrote an article called "It's All Mercy, Prabhu." <laughs> and the article said, "You know, when something great happens, you say it's Krishna's mercy." When something bad happens, and you don't say it's Krishna's mercy. No, it's all mercy. It's all mercy. Because everything can be used. Yeah, yeah, everything can be used. Yeah. We're coming out with volume two, Living the Wisdom. Yes, we are waiting. But will you have more articles? The volume two, volume two is bigger than volume one. Really? The volume one is almost twenty thousand pages. Yeah. 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 Y
This is 350 something. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was the first half of today's seminar. <laughs> we'll get to do the exercise later. You know, what are you afraid to admit? But now that I told you the exercise, nobody's going to come because nobody's going to want to do that exercise. Four, four, four to six. And then, and then Kirtan after, or something, yeah. before. Actually, yeah. we are flexible. We have, we have unlimited time in the sense that we can start from four, and then you will decide if you want to. We're just depending. Yeah, we just go until you fall asleep or something. <laughs> we go until you fall asleep or get hungry, basically. Yeah. Whatever comes first. Yeah. We're bored, but I won't bore you. I might scare you, <laughs> but I won't bore you. Okay. Thank you. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Pramanandi Hari 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 Hari